morning guys it is the day after christmas and i had somebody book a shell hunting trip in 37 degree weather got some gnarly shell addicts that want to go shell hunting and uh i'm still wearing sandals and uh, no no socks because i'm from the north and i'm crazy but uh, i want to bring you guys along with us today to as we find some epic shells on the beach in really cold weather we got Chris here and he's currently on the stalk for some tiny shells. Let's see if we can find anything real quick. Uh, yep, there's a little guy right there. Look how tiny that little guy is. That's crazy. To eat that and not even know. There's another little guy right here. Whew, two little baby olive shells. What do you got so far? I got a couple of nice baby olives there as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just sitting right on top of the sand. You see it? It's a little bigger one. Oh, this one. Yep. <laughs> there you go. How much damage there's been from the storm. Oh yeah, it was a pretty nasty one. When was it? September 16th. Well, it was recent. Yeah, which was the same date as Ivan. So, oh. when Ivan in here back in 2000. Four ish. People have to evacuate for that? Or? Uh, we didn't because we didn't think it was going to be that bad. Yeah. That's a pretty good haul there in your hand. Mm -hmm. Nice. Just getting the hang of it. Cat's a yeah. master micro sheller. Yeah. So. Turns out the nails. Yeah, see right here, it's very tiny, but it is a piece of coral. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do you guys see it? I'll see if Chris can find it, but it's right in front of the camera. So, looking for something like little tiny holes in it. Just, right yep, here. right there. Very nice, man. Cool. Beautiful. Good job. All right. Right in this little area here, there's a tiny little uh, different kind of small micro shell. It's white. Can you see it? Give you a clue. Uh, yes, that's a, that's a different one. Very nice. It's got a different pattern on it, which is kind of cool. Hot man, let's see how what you found. Uh, Micro shell, a nice piece of coral, some nice olives, a nice barnacle there, and you got part of a blue olive shell there. Pretty cool, man. What's the one? It's got a big old handful of cool little things. What's your favorite one out of that so far? Uh, this isn't one that you were telling us about, but I really like the designs on these. Yeah, so that would be a part of a sand dollar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of these little pieces here are all parts of sand dollars. They're just yeah. kind of withered away. They're so. pretty. Yeah. I was interested in the texture of those, so I picked them up. Nice. <laughs> well, all shell honeys create equal, so. Right in front of the camera here is a really nice shell. Do you see it? It's different than all the others. This one? Yep. Check that out. It's a baby conch shell. Huh. Very cool. Good job. Yeah. And then, let's see here. I thought I saw an olive shell over here. Yep, I do. Right in front of the camera, there's an olive shell. Yep, right there. Very nice. That's what you're looking for. With over here, there's an olive shell. Yeah. You see that nice olive kind of mm -hmm. sticking up there? All right. And then right next to it, there's another olive shell. And then over here, it was just sticking out. It's right there. Oh, so cute. Look at that, you got your, your, a cock shell. That's a fighting conch, so. Hmm. Very big. cool. And then I believe there's a big olive shell sitting right there. Yeah. Very nice. Look at that, you got a nice little handful. I we know. didn't have to dig a hole yet. <laughs> Very cool. Congrats on the conch shell. That's a good way to yeah. start the morning. It's a unicorn horn. You see it sticking out of the sand? Oh yeah. That's a nice one, huh? It is. A lot bigger than the other one. So that's what you're looking for. Cool. They get a little bit bigger than that. So. Hey guys, there's a nice piece of coral just sticking out of the sand right there. Look at that. Nice. Big piece. And then right next to that, there's a unicorn horn to your 
to your left. Oh. Yep. Very good. Awesome. Oh yeah. Just sitting on top of the sand. Uh huh. Get yourself a conch shell, man. That's cool. It's a very nice one. Yeah. All right. Chris has got his first conch of the day. Awesome, man. Didn't even, didn't even have to dig for that one. We got a cat going through some shells that I just uh, sifted. I decided to get in the water even though it's 37 degrees outside. <laughs> see if she finds any good. There's a nice olive shell. You see it? It was, it was right next to your finger. Right. Yep, right there. Very nice. Hmm, very pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you want to make it easier, you can just dump it out on the sand. Let's do it. Hey right, guys, so we started digging our hole to China. Hopefully we don't find the coronavirus, that wouldn't be good. There you go. Found a nice little olive shell there. Very nice one, man. It's cool. We'll uh, get you a... There you go. You got one as well. They are tag team in the hole today, which is good. Hard to dig because there's so many. Yes, yeah, so you're hitting into like concrete kind of. Oh, there's a nice one, a nice shiny one. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Show that to the camera. Look how beautiful that one is. It shined right at you. That's why you saw it, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, they look like they've already been polished. polished yeah. <laughs> nice. nice little auger. Very good. All right. You might you might dig into another conch shell here very shortly. There's a scallop, rainbow scallop right there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yep, right in that scoop there. Yep, there you are. This guy right here, rainbow scallop. Nice shape. Look at the colors. Mm -hmm. So when you yeah. when you rinse it off, it kind of looks like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. So very good. Right. This is where you get to feel your back at the end of the day. So. <laughs> You just dug out. You see that olive shell? Yeah, there's another one I'm going for. Oh, yeah, I see it. There. Very nice. Oh. You got two of them there. Very good. Got a, we got a master sheller now, so. She's a shell, shell lobbyist. That's right. <laughs> Finding all the olives. This yeah. is the martini hole. There's a small little conch shell right there. There you go. Auger sticking out right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Job, job, Chris. I don't know why I called you Brian earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> Terrible with names. Ooh, wow! Look at that massive one. Put that in your yeah. hand. <laughs> Look how big that thing is. So that's a lettered olive. It's a little bit different. So if you wipe it off, the textures on the outside of the shell are a lot different than the other olives. And you'd probably pay about $10 per shell in a shell store for that one. So wow. very nice. Getting your money back. A lot of the shells in these uh, shell stores that are around here are all fake. Oh, wow. There we go. Rookie mistake. Was waiting for it. And we got that on camera, Chris. Yeah, Chris uh, caved in the caved in the hole. So now Cat's got to do all the work again. So. Yours. <laughs> what not to do? What not to do? Ta -da. Ta -da. There's another one right there. Nice, yeah. good stuff. I'm sure I've thrown like a million out too. That's okay. That's how it goes. Yep. That's, all shells create equal. There's a nice olive. One right oh, yeah. there, one right there. The other one was buried right in here. Right there. Very good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I've taken people to this spot all week and we're still finding 
Incredible. Ooh, look at that nice nutmeg. Yeah, that's a big yeah. one. Wow. That's a good one. I'm going to go rinse that one off and I'll be right back with it, okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. What's this one? Well, look at that. I, I joined the party, so. <laughs> I'm making it harder on you guys. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. There you go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice olive shell. Beautiful. You guys are finding some good stuff. Mm -hmm. You guys having fun? Yeah. yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, what was it? something? Ooh, look at that nice nutmeg. Right here. There you go. Oh, I dropped it. There it is right here. Look at that, guys. Little baby hmm. nutmeg. Very cool. All right. Looks like I see another nice olive shawl popping out right there. Oh, that was broken. Bummer. Broken olive. Oh, there you go. That's not broken. Beautiful. got there? It's like a big, big piece of a clamshell. Looks like you're about to cave it in. Uh-oh. I think you might be able to pull it out with your hand, so just give it a big old wiggle. There you go. That's a big piece of a shell. Another big piece of a shell. That's got to loosen something up. There's got to be something nice in there. That's part of that. that was that clamshell. Oh, there's a nice olive. Very good. Timber. Oh, look at that auger. Mm. Wow. Guys, they're about done today. They were caving their hole in, so calling it a, a day or filling our hole back in. Alright guys, we just got done seashell hunting with Kat and Chris. I almost called them Brian, but I didn't do that. That's good. <laughs> These guys are from St. Louis, so they're used to the cold because it was 37 degrees out this morning, but they found a ton of amazing, beautiful shells that they're going to be able to take home with them back to St. Louis. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today and I'll see you guys next week for another seashell hunting adventure.